Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen, where today we're making Instant Pot Cod with Putanesca sauce. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I talk about the ingredients is I'm gonna start up the saute um, function on our Instant Pot so that it can get hot before I add any food. So saute, that's gonna get started. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there when it gets hot and saute a little minced garlic. Then I'm gonna add in some anchovy paste and tomato paste and red chili flakes, salt, pepper, basil, olives, capers, and some whole tomatoes that were in canned whole tomatoes with their juices. This is gonna saute a little bit and then we'll put the cod on top and we'll cook it for a very short two minutes and then, easy peasy, we're all done, right? So let's put in some of this oil. Like so I have a wooden spoon here. And these, if you have an Instant Pot or electric pressure cooker, gets pretty hot pretty fast. So I'm gonna put this in here. And it can go from simmering to scorching really fast. So it's not the same as when you're sauteing on the stove. You have to be a little bit more careful. But, uh, you know, so I don't let the pan get super, super hot like I would on the stove because I can turn down the heat on the stove, but I can't really turn down the heat in the Instant Pot. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna add in our tomato paste and our anchovy paste. And you can start to hear it sizzling a little bit here. We're gonna kind of cook that all together, let it caramelize a little bit. Then I'm gonna add in some salt and a little bit of pepper. We're just gonna let this cook here for about 30 seconds or so. You can really start to smell it, beautiful. And then we're gonna add all of our other ingredients here. So in goes the tomatoes. those around. So you can smush the tomatoes with your hands before they go in. You can kind of use also your wooden spoon or a spatula or something to kind of break them up a little bit. Or you can just leave them whole. It's really your personal preference. And then goes some chopped up basil and our chopped up olives and our capers. So this is a very Mediterranean style dish with the tomatoes and the basil and the olives and the capers. And you can see if you're looking in the overhead that there's a nice liquid in there. So when we're using the pressure cooker, we need liquid because the pressure heats up that liquid and that's what essentially cooks the food. The pressure makes high heat and steam, essentially, and that's what cooks our food. So we have this, and then we have two pieces of cod. So I'm going to just nestle them right in there, like so. Then I'm gonna cancel out of our saute. Then I'm gonna put our top on, and we're gonna cook it on high pressure for two minutes. So let's set that up. Pressure cook on high for two minutes. So it does take about 10 minutes to come up to pressure and during that time it's cooking. Then it's gonna cook for two minutes and then we're gonna quick release the pressure and then we'll pop the top off and we'll have our Instant Pot Cod with Putanesca all ready to go. So we'll see you back after that. All right, so our Instant Pot Cod with Putanesca sauce should be done. Let's, ooh yeah, look at that steamy. Ooh. Pull that right off the top there. Here's your Instant Pot trick, that handle right there, right? Pretty awesome. So 
So let's scoop some of this gorgeousness out. We've got some of this tomato. want to put some fresh herbs on there. More green, more delicious, more flavor. So once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching my New York City kitchen. This is my instant pot cod with puttanesca. We'll see you next time. Bye.